Hi everyone, in this tutorial you're going to learn about how to convert batches of motions at a time and preview them directly in iClone from 3D Exchange. The one essential thing you'll need with every batch conversion of motions is a T-Pose track. This is to use as a reference pose for all of your other motions. It's always good to prepare your motions with the same naming and hierarchy structure so you can organize them more easily. So first, you'll want to load in your T-Pose to create a track in the motion library. Once you do that, you'll see a skeleton figurine appear in your work window as your reference model. Now, select the Import button in the Motion Library section to bring in your other motions as well. You can see I'm selecting 5 FBX files here. When you load these motions in, you can double-click them to preview them. You'll see that the skeleton will act out the motions. You can click and drag along the timeline at the bottom to preview the motions at any speed you'd like. So, at this time, your skeleton is still in prop format, so what you'll want to do is convert it to a non-standard character, which means your character will be fully compatible with all the iClone motion tools. Make sure your character is in the T-Pose first, and then click Convert to Non-Standard. You'll then want to select your bone structure, which in this case is the 3DS Max biped character template. You can see all the bones will automatically be mapped. After that, you can preview your animations by selecting the active box, and then choosing the animation and selecting preview. Once you're satisfied, just click on the convert button to finish your characterization. You'll now see at the top that your character is now classified as a non-standard character, and you'll see a motion library full of motions. Here you can double click your motions in the library to preview them. And now for the cool part. If you have iClone open and a character selected there, you can directly apply your motion to that character in iClone by selecting the Apply to iClone button. On top of this, you can also import sourced VVH and FBX motions to the current motion library as well to test them on your iClone character. This is good if you have other motions from the same source and you know how they work on this particular model. To do this, simply select Import and then find your motions and import them directly. After you do this, you'll be prompted to choose your character profile that you want to import the motions to. Unless you have a different profile you'd like to use, just choose the current character and move on to select Convert All. Now you've expanded the library of motions. Make sure that all of your motions have been pre-tested on the same rig, or else you may have motion problems. After the import is done, you can preview all of your motions the same way. Again, you can apply your motions to iClone as well to get a look at what the motions look like on a real character. Okay, so when you're ready to export your motions officially, you can make sure they're all selected, and then select Add to Perform. Then move on directly to export them. In the export type, make sure you select Animation. You'll also want to rename your folder to signify it's a motion folder in the iClone content directory, or you can choose your own custom folder as well. With the directory I typed in, it saved all my motions to the custom section of my iClone animation directory, like you can see here. Notice that all of the animations that I imported are now available for use with my iClone character. Now I can apply them easily to my character with a simple double click. And that's a quick example of how you can import batches of motions into iClone in a few easy steps.